ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, we have an update on the micro trust. The micro trust is complete. The mega trust is complete. Let me make sure you all understand something. I've just confirmed that nobody has done it before. Yay! And let me explain. The reason why they haven't done it is there's this thing known as self-dealing. That's why you cannot be the grantor, the trustee, and the beneficiary of a trust. You can be two, but you can't be three. You can be any combination of the three, but you cannot be all three. So you can be the grantor and the trustee, or you can be the beneficiary and the grantor, or you can be the grantor and the beneficiary, but you cannot be the grantor, trustee, and beneficiary. Now, let's take care of it. Creating two separate trusts, and both trusts having two separate functions, and the capacities being three separate capacities, and the property and the care of the property, we've added another party. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we've added another party who has possession of the property and must surrender possession of the property to the trustee. Oops. That's right. The trustee doesn't control the property. Remember, we're talking about the infinite state. This is to gain control of the property held in the minor account. So this trust is not a three-party trust. This is a four-party trust. Oops. Hey, y'all hear that right there? That's my alarm. All right, all right, all right. And now that's one alarm. That's two alarms. That's every weekday morning, okay? Every weekday morning, that's what happens at the exact same time. You know what that's for? That's to make sure I am up and at them and taking care of what I needs to be taken care of. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because if you don't understand it, I ain't going to explain it to you. Whew. I mean, it's just one of those things. Got to talk to Monica about it. Don't take it personal. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the circular dealings and self-ownership is these are principles that have been come up with by the courts as i say to you and everyone else the courts did not create trust now i do need you all to understand something the constitution for the united states everybody keeps talking about that instrument was created as a result of the northwest ordinance northwest ordinance was created as a result of the laws of the confederacy so just Go back, do your research on how everything came about. The Constitution did not delegate the authority of the courts to do anything but settle controversies. But hold on now. The people don't have to go to the courts to get their controversies settled. That has always been the case. You have to file a petition to settle a controversy. The courts don't just automatically get jurisdiction. You have to agree to give them jurisdiction. You don't believe me? Then why do you have to submit to their jurisdiction? You have to agree to give the courts jurisdiction. Now, wait, we're talking about civil. No one can force you into court. Now, hold on now. You sit up there and you take somebody else's property, then yes, and the person petitions the court, the court just received jurisdiction over two things the property and the other person. So they have jurisdiction over the matter. They can ask you to come in and explain your side. And if you don't come in, you are defaulted because you're involved in a two-party agreement. Sorry, that's just the way it works out. It's a conundrum. However, hold on now, there's a problem. Our arbitration has an arbitration clause. Our arbitration, our trust agreement has an arbitration clause where any and all controversies and disputes and any and all questions as to the validity of the agreement are placed before the arbitrator. The Supreme Court in Archer 2019 made it quite clear that if the parties agree because they have the right to contract that all disputes are to be handled through arbitration, the courts have no jurisdiction. The courts must defer 
to the arbitration clause. Now remember, in a trust, the grantor's intentions is law of the trust. Every statement I'm making right now are statements you can put in Google and look it up and see whether or not it has validity. When I told you this was not no simple little task, I was certain that somebody must have done it before me, and I know others have tried, but there are case citations to validate the structure of the agreement. You see, there is no intent of self-dealing with the property because guess what? You don't possess the property. You're a minor. You're trying to gain control of the property. That's why you're creating the agreement. The property is in the control of someone else. So the trustee's duty is to commandeer the property. That's what bankruptcy is for. So there is no self-dealings here, and the trustee's duty is to put that in trust for the trustee. That's why there's another organization involved with making sure you receive the property, and it's not a trustee. Ta-da! So y'all just have to be patient and bear with me because I have to put all of this together. I have to make it in pen so it will be done when it gets done. Stop emailing, stop texting, stop doing all of that. I will block you. The fact that I'm giving you a heads up as to what's being done, that's all you get. I don't care how impatient you are. I don't care what you have going on in your lives. I'm doing this. You're not doing this, so you're not going to rush me, and I'm going to do it right. I'm not going to do it wrong. If loving you is wrong, I want to do right. Okay, that is, it literally is just the way it is. So sit back, come back periodically because the videos will be entitled Mega Trust. Look, it was ingenious. Let's just admit it. Creating a trust? Yay, everybody can create a trust, but you're not the, pay attention, you're not the trustee of the Mega Trust. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? The Micro Trust is the trustee of the Mega Trust. You're just a beneficiary. You just created the trust and technically, pay attention, you didn't even create the trust. Hold on now, you, you don't realize that? You didn't create the trust, I did. And you can indicate that, I don't care. I'm the grantor, I'm creating the trust. Am I not doing the videos telling you that I'm the creator? God, that's right, I'm God with regards to the trust. The grantor's intentions is law of the trust. That's why I'm doing these videos, people. Letting you know the intention for the trust. You shall remain the beneficiary and the trustee. Hold on now. Now, the mega trust is the grantor of the micro trust. Hoo-wee! Now, that creates a conundrum. Why? Because the micro trust is the trustee of the mega trust. Hoo-wee! And you are the beneficiary of both. But hold on now, don't just stop there. Then you the trustee of that micro trust? Oh, wait! And then we can't stop there. Hold on now. Hold on now, we created another entity. It's called a fiduciary. And the fiduciary and the trustee are not the same. But a, a fiduciary and a trustee, they have the similar fun. No, they don't. This trust explains what the fiduciary is and what the fiduciary's role is. Hold on now, don't just, I told y'all, hold on. Are you telling me this is a four-party trust? You better believe it. See, I tell you guys about the law of capacities. The grantor never operates as trustee, and the trustee never operates as grantor. Although the beneficiary and the trustee may be the same person, they hold two different capacities. And while operating in those capacities, they are prohibited by trust from maintaining two capacities at the same time. Ch -ch 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 Chingo. Okay. Just so that you guys know, I was doing my due diligence. So y'all gonna have to be patient. Like I said, ain't nobody did this before. Okay. Ain't nobody's done this before. So since ain't nobody's, and I mean ain't nobody's bodies.
Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I just received a message from a company saying I just made a payment to somebody and it said the payment didn't go through because it came from a personal bank account. That is a business account. And there is no way in the world it came from a personal bank account. So now I got to go and transfer the money into the account, which means it's going to cost me. <sighs> what a wonderful day. All right, getting back to this <clears throat> trust thing, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, nobody has done this before. Not a single person has ever done this before. Successfully. Why? Because nobody ever thought to put an arbitration clause. Nobody ever thought to differentiate a fiduciary and a trustee. That's why, hold, hold on now, make sure you guys understand, this is intellectual property now. I'm the creator. That's why there is a clause in every contract. You cannot take this idea and use it on your own. It invalidates your contract. The words are embedded in the contract. See, that's the whole thing. There, there's a confidentiality clause. There's a national security clause. That's because the contract is with the United States. Same type of inclusion contract that they do with you. All you're doing is amending the contract that they have with you. These agencies, these corporations, these government offers to contract. It's called a corporate offer to contract. Government contracts with people all the time. Well, enough. We're saying enough. Y'all want to create these contracts and y'all don't have jurisdiction to oversee them. Because we've never given you that. You created the contract. Okay, so we simply go amend the contract. That's all. We're going to follow the law. Y'all want to make them up? We're not going to make up anything. We're going to follow the law. So, as we said, it's going to be about 1780 is going to be the total cost. Now, look, you need to understand the amount of work. You guys have been hearing me talk about this for greater than eight months now. Putting together this concept and idea for over eight months and trying to make sure I go through every loophole, every vulnerability. There will be some who will try to impenetrate, or excuse me, impenetrate, penetrate the trust agreement. But they're not going to be able to penetrate the trust agreement. Okay? They're not going to be able to penetrate the trust agreement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to go. We'll have another update coming soon. Take care. Stay out of business. Stay out of trouble. And stay out of my business. You know what I mean? Gotta go.